Don't be such a girl, he said. Don't cry, he said, you bitch, you pussy, you fag, you girl. Don't be such a girl, he said. But I'm a girl, a uh, woman, half the world cried. We can survive five days of constant bleeding. We can bring the life if we want. Girls just want to have fun. And untaxed tampons. And easier access to birth control. And to not be told to hate our bodies and to not like, be like, sexually like, assaulted, you know? <laughs> and I would understand if it was these constricting terms and conditions of my gender that would make you shout, don't be such a girl, fuck, don't be such a girl, don't be such a girl, but it's not, is it? Girls are silly, girls giggle, girls have a loud fluorescent rainbow of emotions that they let people see, yuck. But let's put aside this Adam and Eve, Venus versus Mars spat we've been fighting. You may not want to hear this, boys, but you are dying. 76% of all successful Australian suicides are committed by males. That may not be poetic, but it's how this shit sails. This is a man's world, except like emotionally, and that's why I think you're dying to leave it like literally. The answer to this is not being a man. You've got to look to the girls and do what they can. While your Adam's apples grew to choke the emotions in your throat, girls practiced articulating their pains by rote. For every brick of muscle you add to your prized offensive wall, we learn we've got to reach out when we or others fall. The antidote to this poison has been around since the time someone drew a line between the social genders of yours and mine. And yes, this is a simplification of a generalization of a disease that is shaping our nation. Toxic masculinity fueled by racial identities and complex sexualities. But don't use girl as a spit, as a slur. Listen to my plea and you can conquer. Don't be such a girl, he said. Better to be a girl, I said, man, than be dead.